Welcome back to day five of the low T sew along. And today we're going to be constructing the hood or a cowl. Now I did decide to do the hood. So the instructions in this video will be for the hood and your drawstrings. Now, if you are looking to do a cowl, you can find the instructions starting on page 34. If you've decided to go with a hood, you can follow along here. The drawstrings are another optional piece to add. I'm adding them. So if you are going to add them as well, go ahead and pull those out. You're also going to need your exterior mirrored hood pieces, your lining hood pieces that are mirrored. If you are doing the drawstrings with grommets, you can go ahead and cut out two one by one patches. I did interface mine and your interface one by one squares for your grommets. Set your hoods aside and grab your drawstrings. Now remember your drawstring should be cut in one long strip. I did have to cut mine differently so just ignore the fact that I have two. We're going to be pinning the long sides together. So you're folding it in half with long sides matched up and you're just gonna pin down the entire length of your drawstring. We're now going to sew our drawstring and we're going to use a quarter of an inch seam allowance and we can either use our serger or a stretch stitch. Now the seam will be on the inside of the drawstring so you won't see it but to keep things a little bit neater you can zigzag down your raw edges your unfinished edge if you are using a stretch stitch just to keep things neat on the inside your drawstring has now been sewn so we need to turn this right side out I will be using a small safety pin. If you had a, have a bodkin, you can go ahead and use that as well. So I'm attaching the safety pin to the seam, and then I'm just working the safety pin into the very small hole, and then just trying to get that started. It's a pain to get it started, but once you have the fabric starting to turn in it's a little bit easier so I'm just working the fabric up onto the safety pin and then pulling it to push the fabric in on itself and I'm working my way all the way down the drawstring be careful not to pull too hard or you will pop your stitches and then you will have to start all over again. So do this to the entire length of your drawstring. And I'm almost done getting that through. And I've got it out, I've got the safety pin out, so now I am just working the bunches of fabric that are on the wrong side up to turn the rest of it out and almost there almost have it and there we go we have our drawstring our drawstring has been sewn together and turned right side out now i like to give it a good press kind of rolling my seam into the center of the back and then pressing it and you can do this along the entire length of your drawstring that is an optional step. I just prefer my seam to be on the back side of the drawstring. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and set your drawstrings aside. Grab your exterior hood piece and you're going to need to decide what side you want your grommets to be on. Grab your hood pattern piece and you're going to notice placement marks in on the front opening of your hood and those are going to be your grommet placement marks so i will line up my pattern piece with my hood piece and then i will mark those placements 
I'm now going to take my one by one squares of interfacing. I cut two one by one squares and I'm going to kind of center that over my marking and iron that on. I'm also going to flip my hood piece over and do the markings on the front of the hood so it's easier to line up my patches. Now for my patches, I don't have any, I didn't have any craft text. So I'm just using a one by one, two one by one squares of fabric and I did interface those with SF 101. And then I drew a line, an X to find my centers of those pieces. You now need to create the hole for your grommet and I'm using a um, rivet press to do that. You can also fold your fabric into a triangle with the point being the center of your X and do a small snip. So now that we have our um, patches with the holes in it and we did mark our front of the hood, you can take and place your patch with the cutout hole centered over your placement mark. And I'm going to go ahead and clip these in place so that I can sew these on. Now that we have our patches pinned in place, we need to sew these on. I will be using a stretch stitch for this, a triple straight stretch stitch. Um, you could also zigzag around the box. Um, and I'm doing a very narrow seam allowance, like really narrow. So go ahead and get both your patches sewn on. We are now going to install our grommets, but first we need to make the holes in the exterior fabric and we're going to use the holes that we made in the patches for our marks. So just punch right over the holes in the patches. And now once you have your holes, you're going to insert your grommets. So the grommets I'm using have a longer post that I'm going to stick through to the back side. I did have to make my hole just slightly bigger. You do not want it to be too big or else your grommet could fall out or push through. And then... And then I'm attaching the plastic spacer and then the back piece. Now I'm going to set my grommet. Your grommets might be different, so you need to read the instructions on how to install your grommets. So go ahead and do that to both your patches and we'll come back. Now that you have both your patches sewn on, we are going to clip our hoods together. Now go ahead and grab your ex your remaining exterior hood piece and place that right sides together. This slightly curved piece right here is the opening of your hood and this is the back of your hood. So we are going to match our notches. You should have some notches on your hood and we're going to match those, pinning them in place and do this to the back notch as well. And then you can match your bottom neck seam and pin that in place. And then the top seam, the top front seam of your hood. And then you can go back in and pin the remaining of it. So we're going to do this to both our exterior hood pieces and our lining hood pieces. This is what you will have once you have both your exterior hood pinned and your lining hood pinned. And now we need to sew the pieces together. 
We are now going to sew our hoods together where we pinned using a quarter of an inch seam allowance. And we're going to sew from the hood opening down and around the back of the hood down to the neck. And if you are using a stretch stitch, make sure you go back over with a zigzag stitch to finish off your seams. And do this to both the exterior hood and the lining hood. Now that we have our linings sewn, we need to attach them at the opening of the hood. So I'm gonna start by aligning the um, seam of the hoods together, and I'm gonna do that the same way I did my armpit seam, where I'm gonna butt the seams up against each other. So I have the lining seam going one way and the exterior seam going the other way, and I'm meeting that seam together. And then I'm going to move down and match the lining notch and the exterior notch and then the tip of the hoods. And then I'll go back in and fill in some clips lining up my sides. And I will do the same thing to the other side of the hood. Our hood opening is pinned and I'm back at the machine and we are going to use our serger or a stretch stitch and we're going to use a quarter of an inch seam allowance and we're going to stitch the opening of that hood together. When you get to that center seam, just be careful it doesn't shift on you and you're holding it in place while you sew over and then continue sewing down the rest of the opening. Now that we have our hood opening sewn together, you can go ahead and spread that apart and we're going to iron our seam going towards the lining fabric. Under stitching the hood is an optional step. If you're going to do that, you have your seam of your hood opening pressed towards the lining and then you're going to top stitch down the lining fabric at about an eighth to a sixth of an inch away from the seam where the lining and the right side meet. So you're gonna do this down the entire lining keeping a consistent stitch. So we've done the optional under stitch. Now we need to sew the casing for our drawstrings. I like to start by pinning my lining and my exterior on the neck opening just to keep it in place. So I have it pinned on the seam and at my two notches in the back. Now the instructions say to sew your casing at one and a quarter to one and three eighths of an inch from your hood opening. Now I would measure before you sew because I found that my patches were not within that measurement so you might have to add maybe like an eighth of an inch so you're going to sew from the bottom of the neck opening up and around to the other side of the neck opening keeping a consistent width from the hood opening and this will create your casing now that you have your casing we need to insert our drawstrings I apologize because mine were cut differently. I did have to insert them slightly different because they were not long enough. On page 32, you can find the instructions on how to do two different types of installs for the drawstrings. Okay, hopefully this makes sense. Um, if you're going to do the drawstring in with two separate pieces, you're going to cut that at about a one to three ratio. Make sure you measure before you cut, making sure that your drawstring will fit the longer portion of the casing with excess to come out of the grommet and the same thing with the shorter section of your casing. So the red line here indicates the longer of the drawstrings and the green is the shorter drawstring. 
So starting with your longer drawstring, I would probably attach a safety pin to the end and you're going to insert it in through the grommet and you're going to feed it around the hood in between your casing and down to the tip of your neck opening and you're going to tack it down. And then you're going to do the same thing with your shorter drawstring. And this one will be inserted in the bottom grommet and you're going to feed it down to the bottom of the neck opening between the casing on the same side as your grommets. And then you're going to tack that down. Option two for installing your drawstring is keeping it as one continuous piece and you will feed one end through the top grommet up and around to the opposite neck opening and tack that down and then feed the other end through the bottom grommet down to the neck opening on the same side and tack that down leaving that little kind of loop hanging out and that'll give you a continuous drawstring. Again, you can find the instructions for both of these options on page 32. Now that we have our drawstrings inserted, we can go ahead and do the crossover for our hood. Now you'll notice four notches, two notches on the left side of the hood and two notches on the right side of the hood. Those are going to be super important placement marks for when we do the crossover. Hopefully this markup sh makes sense before I actually show you how to put it together. Okay, so I have my hood lining face up at me and I have my hood open. I have my tips of my hoods marked as T1 and T2. I then now have notches one through five. So notch one and notch five are going to eventually be aligned on top of each other and those will become the center front of your hood. Notch two and notch four are going to be aligned at your shoulder seams. Notch three, the center back seam, is the back of the hood, the middle back of the hood. And tip one and tip two are going to be aligned with the shoulder seams. So you want your drawstrings to be on the top of the hood, the top of the crossover. So you're going to take the opposite side of your, from your drawstrings. Mine will be the, that left side T1. So I'm going to take that tip and I'm going to align the tip with notch four, place that down. And then I'm going to take the tip two that is on the same side as my drawstrings and fold that on top and align that with notch two. So those are going to be my center, my, my shoulder seams. And then now that you have that, notch one and notch five should be on top of each other. So let me actually show you the folding process. All right, so I have my hood open. I have my lining facing up at me. I'm going to be using the same numbers and reference points that I did in that last drawing. So I'm going to grab T1, which is the tip opposite my drawstrings, and I'm going to place it, align it with notch four, grabbing my T2, the tip that is on the same side as my drawstring, and folding that over and aligning it with notch two, and I'm going to pin that in place. Remember, this is going to be your shoulder seam. I'm going to then align notch one and five. That is your center front notch. So I'm going to pin that in place. All four notches should be aligned. And then I'm just fixing this in here, getting that clip. This is just the fabric placement in between notch the shoulder notch and the center notch. And I'm going to get that pinned in place. And then I'm going to move over to T1 and notch four. 
that is your other shoulder seam. And I'm going to get that pinned in place. That tip should be right aligned with that notch. Pinning that in place. And then going back in between your center notch and that shoulder notch and get that fabric aligned. You shouldn't have to stretch anything. We're gonna get that pinned in place. And then you should have your hood. So again, you have your center notch and you have your shoulder notches and your back notch. We now need to baste this together with a long stretch or a long straight stitch. Doesn't have to be a stretch stitch. This is just holding that place, those placements so it doesn't shift when we go to actually sew the hood on. So we're just sewing from tip to tip. All right, so I got my crossover basted in place. Again, it does not need to be a stretch stitch. We're just holding this piece together. So I just used a long straight stitch with a very narrow seam allowance. All right, you did it. You constructed your hood. We are going to take a little bit of a break for today and we will come back and attach that tomorrow as well as your cuffs and your waistband. So take a picture of today's task and submit your picture on the Facebook Pandaya Fabrics Sew Along group in the corresponding day.